Hey guys, welcome back to the Ride Right Waxing channel. So we have got a set of Rosignol Scratch Brigade Twin Tip 178 skis in the workshop. Now, these have not been stored in the back of your wardrobe, like I suggest, or on your wall in your office. I think these have been stored possibly outside or in a shed. Uh, they're extremely rusty and they really do need some love. So this should be quite an epic turnaround, but I have got my work cut out. And big shout out to the owner of the skis, going to be watching my video with his son. So hopefully, sons, go across, hit subscribe with your dad, go across and watch all my videos and share with all your pals. That would be absolutely awesome because a lot of love and care and attention goes into these skis and everything that I do. I want to make sure these fly and have the family basically has an epic time on the mountain. Now, we were having a discussion when he dropped the skis off about hiring or taking. If you think 30, 40 pound, depending who you fly with to take your own skis, from day one, you click in, you know what you've got, as long as they're serviced, obviously, and you can have an epic time. It can be quite costly, depending where you go in the Alps, anything from 150 to 300 euros to hire a set of skis. And twin tip skis and powder skis are getting harder and harder to obviously rent you tend to get a piece ski which nothing wrong with them um but obviously they don't iron the wax on they buff it on again nothing wrong with that um because you can go back and swap them but if you have your own gear you tend to look after it not in this circumstances i think these have been bought off of marketplace um but you know what you're riding and you can have a really really good time plus you come out in the morning you can pop your skis down and go you haven't got to go to the rental shop the night before in the morning and try everything on and queue up for hours and lug them all the way back to your room and then do that at the end of the trip lug them all the way back to the shop um you haven't got any of that hassle you just pull a bag chuck it in a plane and off you go i make it sound simple but anyway let's pop you in my hand and let's have a quick look at these bad boys and the work i've got ahead of me now this should be a great turnaround video stay tuned hit subscribe and hit like let me pop you in my hand so here we are. We've got some gouging, but it's not down to the core. We will clean up this top coat. We've got a, quite a bit of staining uh, on here on the glossy area. So we'll try and clean some of that up. But cool kind of gangster, um, kind of Scratch Brigade logo on there. Um, and that kind of like pinstripe suit. Um, the bindings themselves, uh, these are set quite high, actually. Uh, these are set at 10 at the front. And just on the rear... A very low on the rear we've got a six on the rear as well so uh, i beg your pardon a, an eight on the rear so we've got an eight on the rear and a ten on the front but we'll clean all this up but this is where it gets interesting let's flop this over Ta -da! there we are uh we have i'm not quite sure i think that may be rubble or something i'm not quite sure what that is um but as you can see let's zoom in there is no rail. <laughs> it's rust. <laughs> I'm hoping we can get this staining out of the base. Um, might be some base scraping, but I really am hoping we can turn that around. Um, so, yeah, let's zoom back out again. There we go. And the other ski isn't really much better. Uh, we have got quite a lot of rust on the edge of the ski, as well as just pure rust. And we're going to try and get an edge back onto these skis. I feel like my file is going to have its work cut out. But that's what we do. Let's have a quick look around the base. We've got some P-Tex areas to do. We've got some quite heavy gouging. And the base material, albeit it looked quite shiny on camera, believe me, it's very matte. A lot of scraping marks just here. And they just need a good clean up as well. So, uh, yeah. Fun, fun, fun. Cool little drip mark in the graphics, though. I will like that. Going into kind of like cloudy, splattery. I don't know really kind of what that is, but it looks like a paint gun has had a good time on the base of these skis. Um, so there we are. We're going to play some tunes. I'm going to work my socks off to try and turn these around. So remember this, because what I might do is pop this on the screen in a second uh, and just show you what it looks like after I've done one side. Anyway. Here we go. So here we are, 
Wow, this ski has taken some work. We haven't actually done anything to the base material. We have just done the rails. So there's the rails you can see just there. Looking lovely. All the way up the ski compared to basically that. We've cleaned this ski as well. So we've got most of the base material. Like I said, I've done nothing really with the base other than clean it. Um, this here is the second pass of how clean the ski was. Um, the first one was even worse than that. So that's how grubby the skis are. So it's always worth cleaning your skis. But there we go. That's the difference from that one there. To that one there. If I just quickly undo from the clasp. We'll have a quick look at the side rails as well. I've just got a dull and tip them, but I'm going to do that when I do the base material. Let me just pop this just in there. There we go. So turn that on its side, we have from that to that, all the way down the ski. So we have got a superb sharp edge now along the ski, opposed to that one there. We have destroyed nearly three files, but we've got there. We've got the metal back. There is a little bit of pitting in some of it, just purely and simply because you can't replace the colour of my fingers. Um, the material, but huge difference, huge difference. So there we go. Let's pop you in the stand. We're going to carry on with the base of this one here. Um, and then once we finish the base of this one, um, we're going to start onto the other ski. So what we're going to do is sort out the base now. Um, this has been through a machine because these little lines here are black P-Tex where it skims it onto the board. I think possibly it's had a core shot at some point as well. Um, so I'm going to P-Tex over this. We've got areas as well that we need to detail. So we're going to P-Tex the ski first, um, base scrape the ski, and then wax the ski, and then we'll start on this one. Like I say, this has taken me about an hour and 10 minutes to get these rails like they are. Um, a lot of work. But we pulled it back, which is the main thing. And uh, I want to make sure these skis are as fast as possible. So here we go. Start on that one after this one. Let's get on with the bass, stick some tunes on. And let's crack on with this Rosignol. So base scraping the board and P-Texing, we're getting there with it, but we have uncovered what I thought would possibly be the problem. Uh, we have a core shot. So that is the backside of the rail. So the person who's obviously had a core shot, they filled this up with P-Tex, which you shouldn't do. You should fill it up with a, a material called metal base. Uh, it's more rubbery. So I'm gonna have to get my soldering iron out, repair this, and then put P-Tex on and base scrape and base scrape and base scrape and base scrape. And basically try and fill this in um so i've got to clean it out with the standing knife blade but literally one pass um i did think uh, as i said a minute ago that possibly that would cause an issue because you can see the black here so what happens is when they go in the machines they layer a very thin layer of p-tex across the whole ski that it goes in and gets sanded and it fills up all the lines now this is how black p-tex hence why there's black lines running up through um but obviously it's had a core shot, so it's obviously absorbed all the P-Tex and it's been sanded. But over time, that was loose. If I hadn't a base scraped this or it hadn't come in here, that would have fallen out. And you don't want to get this rusty. It is rusty in there, um, but we're going to do our best to clean that up and uh, lay some metal base. So that's another quite extensive bit of work and repair. So let's get on. Let's crack on and get this done.
So there we are, that's just the first phase. So we've used the solder iron, we put the base material in, this is the base material. It's kind of rubberized, so you can't fill the core shot up all the way to the top. You've got to put just a base layer to seal it and then put the PTEX in on top. So I've got to do a couple more passes and we'll get this sorted out. But there we go, one core shot repaired. Got some base scraping to do. There's a, there's a bit of PTEX in here we've got to do. So uh, yeah, still lots to do on the base of this ski. And then we can get on and give it a wax. We are now quite a few hours on and these very rusty Rosignols are basically coming back to life. Um, I'm really pleased with these. Let me just grab the other ski a second. Um, they've come up so well, like so well. We've got, this is obviously with the wax still on. I've got to give them a bit more of a detail because they're extremely dusty um, on the top coat, um, but yeah. We've got great definition in the rails um, and already the colour, the whiteness in that pinstripe at the front is really, really clean. Most skis now are ready to be polished and detailed. Uh, so I've got my scraper. Basically, we're going to take the wax off like so and we're going to detail brush it. So as I do in all my videos and for this uh, chap who's watching with his lads, a little bit of festive stuff. Let's make it snow. Wow, so if you're still watching, thank you. 13 minutes into this epic transformation of these awesome Rosignol skis. A lot of work and love has gone into these bad boys and I thought I'd just remind you what they entered the workshop looking like and I'm just about to show you how I've turned them around. say these skis god I tell you what i have spent quite a few hours on these bad boys and they have come up lovely so i would like the uh, children of the gentleman who owns these skis to be the judge on how well these have come up these um i can say these scratch uh, brigade skis from rosignol um were a challenge really were a challenge now this is the ski that had the core shot that we put in Basically, the PTEX that was laid in, it literally just ripped that straight out. So we've core shot repaired that, which is amazing. And that is lovely and flat. Um, you can feel it just a little bit. You're never going to get it 100% perfect like base material. But the main important is it's sealed, it's secure. And uh, yeah, these skis are going to live for quite a few more years. Check out the shine on that from the tip there all the way down to that pinstripe, those rusty marks are all off the base the rails you can really see a distinguished line now on that rail the rust is all gone including that side rail as you saw earlier in the video and that before and after just amazing this is the other ski pop this one up other than a bit of uh, polishing dust the word rosignol is really popping and they've come up absolutely lovely so happy with these so happy with these 
And uh, yeah, so nothing else to say other than boom, subscribe, of course, subscribe, hit like, go and share with your friends, put it on your Facebook channel and say, check out Tony in the Ride Right Waxing Workshop and look what he did to my skis. And uh, yeah, that's it. Another set done, a very challenging set done here in the Ride Right Waxing Workshop, but we turned them around and these things are going to fly and they're going to have an epic holiday. So go and have a great time. And we will. Boom. See you soon.